Hello, this is Buona from Buona.tv and today I want to talk about Dynasty Warriors Unleashed. This is the new mobile game that I've been playing for about two weeks now uh, in conjunction with Nexon Mobile. Dynasty Warriors Unleashed is a mobile uh, version or I guess you could tell, uh, I guess you could say it's a mobile inspiration from Dynasty Warriors 8 Extreme Legends. And uh, without getting too much into the story because I really, <laughs> honestly I didn't pay too much attention to the story because you know with Dynasty Warriors for me, it's all about the combat, the combos, and massive amounts of enemies on your screen. Okay, let's look at the interface. At the top left, you can see my ID and my level and the progression that I have, 16% uh, so far. Uh, the AP, action points, and or the stamina system in the game is managed by a currency called Bashi, which is a, a bun. Uh, I call them onions. They look like onions. You can see at the top left, it's 36 out of 30. And then I got my gold ingots, 6,990. I was hooked up by Nexon. They gave me some currency. And 18,728 uh, coins, which are used for crafting and a lot of other things. And then at the right, you got different things for your mailbox and uh, your chat and settings and so forth. Menu items include campaign challenges, battlefield, and conquest. We're going to talk to each one of those. And at the bottom, we've got a collapsible menu here. And I am on my iPad mini right now. This is for Android and iOS, if I didn't say that in the beginning. Guild, friends, officers, inventory, and market. Also on the left side, there's a collapsible drawer, which can pop out, which can give you some rewards and daily rewards and event-based rewards. There's also an index of all of the officers that you can look at to get detailed information about each. Uh, access the Game Center and Facebook. Along the top, you can see there's plus signs next to the Bauchi, the uh, ingots, and the currency of coins. Um, that allows us to go to the shop and to purchase more with real money or with ingots. So if I tap on the plus sign next to the Bauchi, it takes me to the shop where I can purchase more with ingots. And again, ingots are the in-game currency that you can purchase with real money. As of the recording time of this video, uh, for $2.99, you can get yourself 300 ingots. For $4.99, you can get yourself 500 ingots. And for $9.99, you can get yourself 1,000 ingots. It goes all the way up to 10,000, which is ridiculous. You can get for $99.99 enough ingots to probably last you forever. So I think that's enough about the interface for now. Let's talk about some of the gameplay. Uh, this is an action combat game where you can control the characters using your left stick and using your right stick to do certain abilities. Uh, so let's go right into the campaign and we'll talk about that and I'll show you the combat. So if I tap on campaign, it'll take me to the story mode. And this is where I've left off. I'm on hard mode, uh, world 6-1. But if I go to normal, if I tap on normal on the left side, I can then see all the different story elements and the amount of stars that I earned on each one. You know, one to three stars being the uh, the objectives that you've completed. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and tap on 4-4. This is an area that I farm quite a bit. The Battle of Guandu. And from this screen on the briefing, we can choose which officers we want to we want to take into battle. So if I tap on the officers on the bottom right, this will give me a list of all my current officers sorted by their battle power. Okay. And uh, I can choose one by tapping on, I can basically take people out by tapping on them to remove them like that. And if I want to take this guy on the second row on the right, the one with the white hair, you see him? I can just tap on him, Sun Wan, and uh, he'll be part of my party. And you can flip between people during the whole fight if you want to, and I'll show you how that's done. Um, this is my strongest three people that I use to farm, but most times I need to level up people. So in this case, I'm just going to take these two out and bring in the people that I've been leveling up. And in that case, it's uh, Mr. Lu Zun and Wang Yi. I'm trying to level those guys to 40. And uh, Yujin is going to be carrying them through the battle. So we're going to use one Baoshi, which is onions. <laughs> As you can see at the bottom, it says fight. And on the left side, we can see the battle report, which is the best power that's in this particular fight. And uh, also the top officer that I have. And their power so you can compare and if you go into a fight and, and you're not equipped to fight it they'll let you know at the bottom left you can see the rewards all the different weapons and the heroes you can get tapping on each gives you a summary of each one and who they are and uh let's click fight or tap fight i'm playing on the ipad mini and i've got most of the settings on low um, just to give me the, the best possible frame rate, but if you got a newer device, 
even the Nexus 6P, which is what I use <clears throat> on Android, it is much faster and much crisper. You can tap through these cutscenes, these little things they say, or you can just click skip at the top. Now, right now, I have it on auto, but I can manually take control. As you can see, there's a little joystick on the bottom left that I'm moving around. And I tap that top ability. You see on the top, on the bottom right, the one that's counting down from 20? Dynasty Warriors, people. That's pretty much what we got here. So now I have to defeat the captain. And the way the game is designed is that, essentially, some of the easier things like this, you would put on auto and just have it automatically run. Turn this down just a smidget so it doesn't uh, deafen you all. Alright, so let's go ahead and switch characters before I finish this. I'm going to switch to my second guy. And I'm going to tap on this portrait at the top left and watch what happens. He comes into the fight and now I can fight with him and I can use his abilities. Like that. Pretty neat. And he used this one. Now I haven't really equipped these two yet, I'm just leveling them. Here's the girl. Now every, every officer has their own element and uh, there's red, green and blue following the element trio. You know, R, G, B is how I remember it. Red can beat green, green can beat blue, and blue can beat red. So this guy I'm fighting is blue. So I would want to have a red character opt optimally, but I can beat him like this. All right, so let's bring the main guy back in. And this is going to be over real quick because he's my strongest guy. Probably going to hit him twice and he's dead. And there you go. That's a quick look at the combat. That's generally what happens throughout the game. Uh, whether you're playing this or some of the other modes, that's how you're going to be controlling people and doing things. On the summary screen, we can see the XP that was earned, the loot that's what, that was obtained. In this case, I got a gem bag and some coins and some other loot. I can optionally restart this or I can confirm it. Now, one thing this game doesn't have is the ability to auto-repeat like, like you can in Heroes of Incredible Tales or Hits. You can automatically repeat levels in that game and tell it to go so many times. In this game, you can't do that. You have to manually restart each time. So if I want to restart or farm this again, uh, get that 220 XP in 30 seconds is what I get. Um, I could click restart or I'll just tap confirm to go back to the main screen. So that's the campaign. And essentially you, you progress your way through the campaign. And if you earn all of the stars, uh, get three stars and everything, you can see at the bottom, there's a little line pointing to different chests that you can get. So as you work your way up to 30 stars, you can get all three chests. Now, if I go to hard, you can see here that that line isn't filled in for world six because I haven't finished it yet. If I go to five, uh, I've completed five on hard and I haven't even got to the elite, uh, the elite mode yet or the elite difficulty yet. So that's how the campaign works. I highly recommend if you're going to play to go through the campaign first, learn the ropes and you'll get a lot of rewards, a lot of gear. Uh, and a lot of currency, including Bauchi refills and, and things to re replenish your AP. There's really no incentive to buy anything if you just progress through the campaign. And the other modes in the game are challenges, which allow you to do dailies that you can complete every day. There's four different daily missions that you can do on multiple difficulties. Siege, Wood Knox, Kill Inferno, and Red Cliff. There's also a boss fight that occasionally pops up. And if there's one available, it'll let you know that there's a boss and you can essentially do this in a co-op fashion where you can take down a boss. You have a minute to do as much damage as you can and you and your friends can collaborate on this, but you won't be in the same instance at the same time. You'll just notice that the boss's health will go down over time and um, you get rewards for completing that and getting the, amount of, the, the most amount of damage done in that case. And exploration allows your character to go through different areas. This is very common in a lot of mobile games and uh, you can earn different rewards by letting your character go through exploration so let's choose one here so level one character it'll cost me 900 coins to do this and I'll get uh, 600 XP to re to explore and that's another option that you could do these are just daily challenges to get you away from the campaign if you're not doing that now the battlefield is where you can gain resources and resources are very valuable in this game they could be XP pots, they could be coins, they can be gold, they can be armor, they can be gear. So if I tap raid here, 
This allows you to raid other players to get fragments of different treasures. And uh, this is a great way to get stuff. I don't do this that often because I find that I can get stuff other ways by fighting bosses and whatnot. But uh, from here, you can choose to, if you want to, you can shield yourself for, for a certain amount of time and protect yourself from others to coming coming and raiding you. I, I, I don't generally, like I said, I don't generally touch this that much. Um, I just leave it alone. I don't touch it. Um, but as you, as you can see, <laughs> It was 11 days ago where I did this and I tried this and I just haven't done it since. But uh, just something that's there, but I, I just never do it. Um, also in the battlefield, this is something I do as much chances uh, as I get. Uh, there's a currency in the game. I call them flags, but I believe they are called, if I, if I tap on the plus sign, these are called, yeah, they're just called flags. And you can purchase them on the market or you earn them. I generally earn them as much as I can. I earn them doing boss fights and other things. And you use these flags to do war supply conquests. And you deploy units to these different nodes to get resources. Generally, it's for an hour. So in this case, I'm looking at an armor cache. And I can get 18 pieces of armor if I hold this for an hour. Here's someone who has decided to hold this. This guy has an uh, Asian name. And... He's getting 3,600 coins per hour as long as he holds that. But if I want to, I could challenge him with my own team and take it over. Now, you'll commonly see people take over things like gold mines because gold ingots are very, very valuable. They're the paid currency. And they're rare mines that are occasionally popping up. So I'm going to go ahead and take this silver mine here to show you how it's done. It's currently unclaimed. I'm going to first establish my team by tapping the team button. And I'm going to choose some people to take. So let's just put in Dongju and my blue cow Ren. They got a total combined power of 43,111. I'll just put them in there. And you can see them. They pop up at the bottom, uh, the bottom right. And if I tap deploy, it'll tell me that I can put them in here for an hour. Okay. And this will give me 36 coins, 3,600 coins an hour. Coins go very fast. It's, it's a very, very valuable commodity. It, it, it's, it's used for uh, crafting and combining and a lot of the things you're going to be using to level up. You're going to need coins. So oftentimes I come in here looking for silver and I come in here looking for gold. Uh, if I need armor or weapons, I generally just farm the campaign levels for that. Now, occasionally, you can refresh this. If I, you see that at the bottom left, there's this little refresh arrow. I'm going to tap that. It's going to refresh the map for me. And that, that actually was worse. Uh, and you can see it has a little tick down. So you can only refresh so often. But this particular place is, is pretty much covered. Um, occasionally, you'll see big silver mines uh, that have more silver. Like there, there's one. Here's a big silver mine that has 4,500 that you can get per hour. Now let's go ahead and take this over. This guy has this. Let's show you how this is done. He has a 4,500 big silver mine, but he only has 29,000. I'm gonna wreck him. I'm gonna go in with. Uh, I'll go in my three dudes here, just to be sure. And I'm gonna I'm gonna tap occupy, and this is basically gonna take it over. So this is gonna be his units, AI controlled versus me. He's not gonna be actually there, uh, doing this. But the game does offer some PvP. It's called Skirmish, and I'll show you that. And that's actually live players versus live players. But this is live versus AI. And pretty much one shot him. <laughs> Poor guy. One shot. Oh, I missed. Doesn't matter. So essentially, I beat all of his dudes because I was much more powerful than him. And now I'm going to take over that node. Poor guy. So now that I've taken over the node, I get to deploy people to hold it. And in this case, I'm just going to keep that same team. That's my strong team. 129,000. I'm going to occupy this for one hour. It's going to cost me six flags. And there you go. Now I'm occupying that particular node. You can see it at the bottom middle. Uh, that is a big silver mine. It's gonna give me uh, it's gonna give me one thousand or I'm sorry, forty six hundred or forty five hundred silver per hour. Uh, so I'm just going to deploy another guy here. I got those, I got some more flags. So we just take my next top three people. This is gonna be a total team power of fifty two thousand, and I'm gonna deploy them here. So again, this is a passive way to get goods. You can do it for silver. You can do it for gold. You can do it for armor. 
um and i highly recommend you stay on top of this otherwise you're going to run out of these resources and you're going to be calling the game you're going to be calling the game names saying that it's trying to take all your money but you can get this stuff for free also in the battlefield is arena and skirmish arena arena i'm sorry and skirmish arena allows you to fight against players with ai controlled um compositions to rank up on the ladder so these people i can all challenge and fight uh, and uh, they'll be AI controlled or I can go to skirmish Which is I think one of the more popular ones and uh, I can fight against people in real time uh, Skirmish only occurs certain times of the day. It's not there. It's not available all the time And I got a reward here actually from the last time I did it Ooh, 1,000 coins five legendary fragments and 15 ingots. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much for that um but yeah, you can see my team power, battle time, so on and so forth. But again, skirmish only occurs certain times of the day, uh, and it is live PvP. And you'll find yourself outclassed quite a bit. You see some level 60 gold um, officers on the top of the leaderboard, and they are there for a reason. They will one-shot you. You have been warned. And the final menu item I want to talk about is Conquest. This is an optional uh, item you can participate in where you can join up and try to con conquer different areas in the game i haven't done this that much i tried it on launch a couple times and you can essentially send your people in here to do different things to get different rewards and try to conquer the land okay so if i tap the one three time trial it says occupied one three time trial here occupied and i tap this one it says i can go ahead and do this one so if i tap fight i can choose my team and go in if i beat the time trial i'll occupy that one as well Okay. So it's just an optional thing you can do to get rewards. I'll get two chests for this um, to capture those areas. I really haven't seen a big initiative or a big reason to do this yet other than the rewards. There's rankings and stuff. But again, this is something that I haven't chose to do that much. So you've listened to all that stuff about the basics, the basics of the game. The question remains, and I think everybody's here for this video probably going to be asking themselves, is the game pay to win? Is it pay to win? What do I have to do to level up? Is it going to involve me whipping out my wallet? Well, let's look around. In your inventory, I'm going to tap on inventory. You have weapons, armors, artifacts, legendaries, gems that you can sock into items, and then other items such as things that you can open, like that gem pack I just got. Let's go ahead and open that. And it gave me some gems. Okay. Let it be known, I haven't put any money into this game. However, I was supplied 6,000, I think it was 6,000 ingots from um, 6,000 ingots from Nexon, which I haven't spent any of yet. Okay. And I have gotten all this gear from playing free to play. All of it. And I've got five star, you know, max refined stuff in terms of weapons. Um, I'll show you my officer list after this. All of this stuff I, I just got by grinding. Okay, so how does it work? Well, let's say I wanted to, I don't know, get a better chess piece. Let's say all I brought was rocking was a three star. All right. What I can do is that I can refine all of my all of my one star items that I got from all those campaign missions that I grinded. And there was a lot of them. Okay. And I recommend you do this. I take one of these one stars. I tap refine. And then this is going to cost me only 500 coins. I refine this by using five other of the one stars. And this is essentially going to increase the quality of that particular one star. And I do this until I have no more plain one stars left. Okay. This is essentially food. This is what I'm going to be feeding. As you can see in my inventory here, I've got a bunch of plus 20s all ready to go to feed into whatever. Okay. So you just repeat that process. I'm not going to do it here in the video, just not to waste a lot of time. But you repeat that process and what you do is that you refine up different three stars i'm going to refine this one this three star i'm going to take a whole bunch of these plus 20s that i just used or that that i made a, a few minutes ago and that'll take me to a max enhanced level of this gold item here so as you can see in my stats my power went from 896 to 1756 just by doing that this is how you get stronger in the game. If you encounter walls, if you encounter places where you can't get past things, go into your gear and your weapons and start doing what I'm doing here. You'll thank me. Trust me. So I'm going to make a couple of more one, uh, plus 20s. Um, 
and then I'll come back and, and show you once once I when I'm gonna clear up my inventory and then I'll come back and resume the video. Okay, I'm back and I've refined a few of these up to some plus twenties. I'm gonna go and take this other three star, and I'll tell you why I'm doing this in a bit. And I'm gonna refine it up to max, and I'm gonna use all these plus twenty one stars that I made. And that'll take it to max. That's going to cost me 3,600 coins. Now, this is costing a little bit more. As you can see, I'm eating through all my coins really fast. That's why I got people in those uh, on the war supplies constantly getting coins. Because I, I'm going to need them. So, now I've got this three-star here. That's uh, level 20. It has, it has been refined up. And I have this other three-star. And this game offers the ability to combine them. To upgrade it to a four-star. This is how you get better gear by crafting. So I'm going to tap combine and it shows me automatically what's eligible. Again, to do this, you need to have your items refined up to plus 20. Otherwise you can't do it. Okay. So I've got a gold and a bronze. I can guarantee I'm probably going to get a bronze out of this. This is going to cost me 2000. We're going to combine them. Now we got a silver. I can't complain. We got a silver four star that I could possibly use or refine up itself. Like if I want to refine this, I would. But I'm going to wait until I get some food to actually refine it up. I'm going to combine all these at some point. So that's a little bit of a tedious task that you have to do on your, on your own. I tend to do it when I'm, when I'm idle. You know, I'm just sitting somewhere doing something in a room where you, you're by yourself and nobody else can come in. <clears throat> cough cough you know you can do this kind of stuff in different places uh, just to uh, just to refine your items up the same is true for your weapons the exact same thing let's go to the inventory it works the same way for weapons artifacts and the like armor which is what I just did for weapons you do the same thing you refine up your one stars combine them to create more uh, a very very yeah, simple system once you get used to it this is Buona from Buona.tv, and this is Dynasty Warriors Unleashed. I've been putting a massive amount of hours into this game. You can check me out streaming it from time to time at twitch.tv slash Buona. Uh, I did a, a launch stream of this as well that's been archived. You can check that out. Uh, but this video will be, you know, the main video that I'll give to people to show them my thoughts. I think the game is great. I don't think it's, 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 it's got mobile elements that, you know, definitely can get you ahead. Like buying those magical edicts with gold ingots can definitely get you better characters than somebody else. Uh, it is definitely one of those pay to heavily advanced type items. But I've been playing this game for a couple weeks and I've been doing things to where I haven't been affected by that, by whales as I call them. And in these mobile games, sometimes the whales can ruin things for you, ruin your experience. I think the area where the whales ruin your experience in this game is the skirmish. Where you get to fight people straight up you can see how strong they are some of these people aren't necessarily monetary whales they just put a lot more hours into the game as you this is a game that rewards gameplay you're going to get items you're going to get rewards you're going to get things to power yourself up i do run out of inventory from time to time but i have to craft to essentially get that down and there are free ways to get coins i told you about the battlefield to go in and go to those war supplies and get coins because they are very very important if you want to clear out your stuff you can also sell stuff in your inventory but i don't recommend doing that okay also uh if you're going to spend money on this game let me leave you with this if you're going to spend money on this game i would recommend putting it into your officer's inventory okay this thing fills up a lot uh as you start to start to do a lot of farming okay you're gonna you're gonna have a lot of officers filling up it's a little bit more it's, it's, it's more difficult to empty this out than it is the other inventories because you can do a lot of combining and refining um, in those other areas. But with the officers, it is a little bit more difficult because you either have to sell them or you have to level people up, which costs a lot of coins. So the longer and the more room you have, the longer you can hold on to officers and the more room you have, the better. So if you're going to put money to this game, I would recommend getting storage here. Um, I wouldn't, like I said, I wouldn't recommend buying... I wouldn't recommend getting that many of these golden in edicts. I would just save up your ingots and go for the magical edicts. I mean, that's going to be the primary thing you buy. All right. There's also ways to get legendary items. I didn't talk about that, um, but there's legendary items in a legendary slot that you can get as well without using any 
money. I can keep going on, man. This is Boyle from Boyle.tv. Dynasty Warriors Unleashed. It's on iOS and Android. Check it out, guys. I'll put the link in the show description. I hope you all enjoyed this review of this game. I think it's very, very fun. I've been playing on both iOS and on Android, and even occasionally on the Nox emulator, Android emulator on my PC sometimes when I stream it on Twitch.tv. You all have a great day. This is Dynasty Warrior Unleashed by Nexon Mobile.